Okay, today we're going to use GIMP in cooperation with Blender 3D to take 2D logos, turn them into uh, 3D logos. So here's a 2D logo I found for the GNOME logo. I just did a search for GNOME logo uh, in GIMP and found this image. Uh, then you can just right click it and save image as. I've already saved it right here. Now I can open it up in GIMP, go to File, oh, not new file open and I will choose that image so here it is this one's very nice because it's already has a transparent background but it wouldn't matter if it was a white background or a different color background uh, one of the important things for the way we're doing it today is that uh, the logo itself is all one color um, so I'm going to choose our crop tool we can do the whole thing with the words but I'm just going to do just the foot portion of the logo so there we have that. Now I can choose this select by color tool. Click anywhere in here and it selects everything that's that color. So it selected the whole foot here. And now we can go up to select, select and go down to path. And it took that selection and turned it into a path here under our paths window, which is the third tab over here by default. We're going to right click that, say export path. And we're going to call that uh, gnome.com. SVG. SVG is uh, one file format that you can export paths as. So I'm going to save that. Then I can move over here to Blender. I'm going to choose uh, our Windows type and go to uh, Scripts window. Click on Scripts, go to Import and Paths right here. You'll see SVG as an option, so is GIMP and a few other file formats. Choose that. I'm going to choose GIMP 2.0 and then I will go to where I have that file saved right here gnome SVG I'm gonna choose that click import GIMP 2.0 and I usually just uh, I haven't messed with these options much I just choose the default click OK and you can see in our top view right there it is uh, one thing though is the center is here even though the path is here you'll see if I rotate it it rotates on that center point let's center the whole thing up turn this back into a buttons window We'll go to our edit window, and with that selected, we'll say center, and we'll move the path so that it's centered over that center point. So now if I rotate it, it rotates at the center. So we're almost done here. Zoom in a little bit here, and on our 3D view, I'm gonna just scale the foot up so you can see it a little bit better. So there it is. If we hit F12, we can render out the flat image, but let's make it 3D, simple. We just extrude it higher this number is, more uh, extruded it is. So you can see it there. We're going to hit F12 and we've already got ourselves a 3D logo. We can make it look a little bit better though by beveling it a little bit. So there I beveled it a lot. You can play with that bevel option, also bevel revol resolution here. Higher that is, rounder the bevel is. So there we go. Those are a few options there. I'm going to turn off bevel and or at least put it kind of low here I think that will look good so there we go we've got our 3d logo there uh, and of course you can add stuff like so you know have a little plane there maybe add a texture give it some color we'll even maybe make it black see how that looks or is that going to be too dark it's a little dark but you play with it, get it how you want it. You can move your light source around, change the background color, all your regular things you've probably already done in Blender. That is how you import a 2D path and make it 3D. Uh, we'll go through this since we have time uh, one more time. Close Blender there, go back to GIMP. Did another search here. Here's the uh, Debian logo. We'll save image as and I will save that go back into GIMP here we will go file open and right there is our image you'll see that this one does not have a black or a transparent background but it's still all one color we can choose it once again by using select color and selecting it if you have a logo that's shaded different colors another way you can do this is you can select the background so if I unselect everything I can select the white background so now the white selected 
then I can go selection, invert selection, and then I can go to path. And now we have our Debian path over here. Once again, export it, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it Debian.svg. It's exported. We will open up uh, Blender again here. Once again, click here, change this window type to scripts, go to script, import paths, GIMP 2.0. We will now go down to where we have that saved, Debian SVG right here. So we will choose that, import 2.0, OK. We'll go back, change this back to a buttons window. You can also just put your cursor over here and hit Control F or Shift F7 and it turns that back into a button window and we will choose edit and center it's now centered and we can extrude it bevel it scale it up a little bit once again we can add a plane here maybe make the uh, sky in this case white I'll make the uh, plane here reflective which will slow down our rendering but give it a neat little uh, reflective uh, material here just by playing with these options here a little bit and we will give the Debian a red texture of course let's see how that looks you can see it's rendering a little bit slower that's due to the reflective uh, portion of the ground texture but you'll see that the texture is like a mirror now and you're seeing a reflection of the Debian symbol within the uh, the ground there I'm also now noticing sometimes when you're when you're doing this you'll get little glitches such as this uh, whoa that was an accident <laughs> let me zoom out here sorry about that I uh, hit the wrong button on the keyboard uh, we can scroll in here and you'll see that there's this one little area here that's kind of uh, protruding out of the Debian logo, logo. That sometimes happens when you're messing with paths. You can easily just go into edit mode uh, and we can choose that. There should be a little thing on the end of there. Or we could just start all over again. But like I said, sometimes you come across little glitches. Uh, there we go. We're going to start deleting these points. There we go. That might have been caused a little bit by the beveling there. And we'll render it out again. And the reason that happened is just because there's so much detail in the uh, edge of the Debian logo there. Since it, you know, it has all these little bits, sometimes you'll get little glitches. Uh, simple logos like the GNOME foot you obviously won't get that. All depends on how advanced uh, your logo is. So there it is. You can also, you know, add words to it with add textures. And we can say Debian. And we can do the same and extrude that. Grab it, rotate it, give it a texture. We'll give it the same texture as the logo itself. Render that out. And that is how you take a 2D logo and make a very, a very simple 2D logo and make a very simple uh, 3D logo. So have fun with that. Play around a bit. Have fun. Filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this.